Hey guys, today I have for you my August update for 50 Shades of Purple. It is in collab with the Fantastic Ladies over on Facebook. It is 50 items, anything to do with purple, and it's pretty much good to go for this project. Um, so this did start on April 15th, 15th or 14th, I can't remember. I think it's the 14th. I want to say it's the 14th, but I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to show you guys um, what I've had like decent or weight progress on. Um, so for the first one, I have the Derma E Ferulic Acid Resurfacing Pads. Um, so it looks like this. Uh, last time it was 241.3. Today we're at 230.8. They look like this. Um, so steady, steady going with that one. Um, next I have my cactus facial spray. Um, let me see where it is. Okay, so I actually finished it. I was, um, pretty low with it, maybe like to here. And then yesterday we went to the beach, so I took it with me and I finished it there. Um, I was going to call it empty, but I'm thinking I'm just going to put the rest of the spray in here and when that one is done this will be done um so i'll add the weight later um but starting the bottle is gonna be 16 grams so last month when i waited with products still in here i think it was like maybe halfway i've been using it a ton like when i use my when i've been doing more makeup also so with my makeup my skincare it just it's a really nice refreshing mist um, so last time it weighed 61.8 grams and today it's sitting at 16 even with the empty bottle. Um, next, my Herbivore Botanicals Retinol Alternative. I am slacking on this poor little item. So I was here last time and I'm here now. So last time it was 120.6, today it is 115.7. So I did use 5 grams. Um... So that's good but it is gonna start getting more attention from now on so the next one is the good molecules overnight exfoliating treatment last time it was 96.2 today it is 89.6 I like to alternate the two of these um, so this one's kind of in competition um, so I am all the way down here um, I have maybe let me see maybe like two uses left i don't know you guys probably won't be able to see but um yeah when i tilt it that way you can see there's product but i maybe have like two uses but last night i used it and i feel like it stinks so i don't know if i want to put this on my face But I'm just going to call it an empty for today because I literally have maybe two uses. Uh, so I'm just going to call this one empty and then I'm going to focus more on this one now that this one is done. Um, so I guess I will move that right now. And then next is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Last time it was 231.6 and today it is 191.7. Um, I have been making a ton of progress on this. This is what consistent C looks like, okay? <laughs> so I was here last month and I'm all the way down here this month. Um, there's hardly anything left. It's just like from here to here. Um, cause the rest is glass. So this will also be an empty for next time, which is really exciting. Um, it'll probably be an empty for this month. So I'm really excited about that. Um, next is, let's see. Um, my Andalou Naturals, uh, conditioner. So that one was here last time. It is here now. Um, and this one weighed 277.7. Today it weighs 169.1. Um, I feel like this is a lot to have gone through, but I do use it to shave also. Um, because I don't really like shaving cream or find the need for one. So I went from here to down here. This one I don't think will be done this month. Um, but for next update, I think it will be. I think it will be done. 
Um, next is the Eva NYC Satin Dreamy Smoothing Leave-In Cream, 187.8 last time, 181 even today. You can't see through it, but I am using it. It still feels really heavy. Um, it's just a little too heavy for my hair. Like the other day I used it and my hair already felt like really oily uh, the next morning. So I have to concentrate it. I should probably put some in right now to handle my frizz. Um, but yeah, it's pretty heavy for my roots. Um, next is the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy in Sleep. Last time it was 199.1 and today it's 122.3. The last time I weighed it was in May um, because I wasn't using it too much. But this is what it looks like. I feel like it's up to here maybe. It feels like pretty light. So yeah, maybe like here. Um, so I'm just going to continue working on that one. Next is the Andalou Shampoo. This one will be gone this month. I went from here to here. These are going way faster than I anticipated, but I mean, that's pretty good. I have, you know, other shampoos that are waiting in line. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This one will be gone by the end of this month. Um, next is the Wet n Wild Petal Poison Liquid um, Cat Shine. Cat suit hydrogen lipstick. I use this as a gloss. So it's like this. Last time it was 29.8. Today is 29.3. I don't know if I told you guys, but I thought I lost this. Maybe in June, probably. I thought I lost it, but I am now working on it again. <laughs> um, next is... Oh, the Cover FX Duo. I changed my goal to 25 times each. Um, for the highlight, I'm at 3. For the blush, I'm at 5. Then of uh, the Maybelline setting spray, last time it was 99 grams. Today it is 81.1. So last time I was here and today I'm here. Maybe like two more months if I use it the same amount. Um, like I mentioned, I have been wearing makeup a lot more often than I have been. Um, so yeah, it's going. It's going. I'm very excited. Um, next is the Buxom Full Force Lipstick in Dolly Dreamer. It's a deluxe sample. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I love it so much. I would definitely get the full size. I love the color. Last time it was 9.1. Today is 8.9. And this is what's left. It keeps melting on me. It's just so freaking hot over here. Um, but yep, that's what she's looking like. I'm gonna be really sad the day I finish this. <laughs> Um, next is the L'Oreal Brilliant Eyes Liquid Shadow and Amethyst Quartz. My goal is to use it 50 times. I'm at 23 as of today. I have it on, um, and then I have something over it. So it's starting to kind of settle. Because I use it, it's not, but it's like around here. Um, settling pretty nice. So, I don't know. We'll see how far I can get with my 50 uses. And then next is the, oh, that one went from 23.4 to 23.2. Um, I used it four, four times, I think, since the last um, update. I love that one. I love reaching for it. So I think I'll, I'll knock out a good amount of uses this month. Um, next is the Maybelline Blue Mascara. It was 19.6 last time. Today it's 19.4. I do like to use this on my lower lash lines. My lower lash line, I'm wearing it today. And it's still here. Let me swirl it so you guys can see. There's still product on the wand. I'm not in a rush for this one to finish. I really like it. I love a blue mascara. <laughs> and then lastly is the Color Wild Razor Root. Um, it was 130.9 last time and today it's 130.4. I did use that in my hair today. Uh, so last time we were here and I'm here. I am terrible at putting lines. <laughs> what the heck? But yes, I'm right here. Um, I alternate between these two hair products um, when I wash my hair. Uh, so that is everything. I'm still working on that. has a good amount of progress. And I, I feel like I finished a ton. Um, or I was very close to finishing a good amount last time. Um, so I did finish the Kate Somerville uh, Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. Uh, you would have seen that in my empties for July. I finished off the Bath & Body Works Body Cream in French Lavender and Honey. I think that was also in my empties for July. 
um my maybelline liquid liner actually like crapped out on me unexpectedly so that was an unexpected empty and i think i had that in my empties as well and then i'm just calling the eva nyc um conditioner done because i have like this much left and i left it at my mom's house so they either finished it or whatever whatever they did with it um but i'm calling that one done and then I actually ended up finishing my Andalou Naturals body wash. This one is so nice. Like, it's completely empty. I got every last drop of product, um, which is super satisfying as a panner. I wish you guys could see, like, how light it is. Um, but I was up here last time, and I finished it this month. Um, I finished it, like, within the last week, I think. Um, but I felt like I ran through this too. It was really nice. I liked the way that it lathered. Um, I think it smelled good too. Oh, <laughs> I just like blew air. It smells fine. Not my favorite scent, but I did enjoy how it lathered and it left my skin feeling. Um, I don't think I would repurchase that, uh, that scent. Um, but the product itself was nice. So I think, so this. My shampoo will be done, um, I don't know, I have to see how much fits in here. Um, so I'll just leave that one alone. The conditioner might be done. These two, and I don't think I can finish the lotion. I think there's a lot left in there still. I forget to use it. Because I, I have to wait for it to like dry before I go to bed and it's kind of annoying. So, um, I think maybe my lipstick. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I think I'll have a lot of progress on it if anything. Um, but yep, yeah, that's my update for August. Um, I love this project. I can't wait to pick the next color. I know we're barely four minutes in, but I just, I love it. Um, but yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did see my last video, I am feeling a little bit better. Um, yeah, feeling a little better. I was able to do my makeup today, so that was nice. Um, I am trying the YSL, um, like skin tint. Sorry, I know this is not about this today, but it's the YSL new bare look tint. I got this from Octoly and I'm wearing it for the first time today. It is a little light. Um, but I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I did just come back from going to the store. Uh, so I had a mask on um, and it's hot. It's hot here. So like my stash is like sweaty and stuff. Um, but yeah. I'm going to keep testing this out and I will update you guys on how I like it. But anyways, enough of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see everyone else's updates and I will catch you in my next video.